Hey guys, it's Reed Florine here, and I want to give you a walkthrough of how exactly I wrote this evergreen blog post. And I used artificial intelligence, an SEO uh, extension for Chrome, and the Rank Math WordPress plugin to uh, help optimize my blog post. So first thing I did was I downloaded an extension called SEO Minion. So I'm just gonna show you uh, what that is. And this is their website. And so this is a tool that's uh, an extension you can download for free for Chrome and also on Firefox. And it does a lot of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to search for something. So let's say um, we'll do email marketing, okay? Now, what it does is this has a ton of things where it can download all sorts of stuff. But one of the really nice things is it can download frequently asked question data and um, the people also ask suggestions. Let me show you what the people also ask are so you know what the, that is. That's this part of the search query. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it download uh, the first 10 clicks and I'll hit go. And so this is going to download those. So I have 24 of them that it downloaded. It's going to open this up as a spreadsheet. Now, what I would do is I would sort this uh, for alphabetical. And sort now. Okay. I'm going to copy that. Then what I'm going to use is this is the tool I use to do the artificial intelligence. It's called Conversion AI. And we're going to do write a blog post about or answering frequently asked questions about email marketing. Okay, I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to come up with some headline ideas. We'll see if there's any I like. And I'll just use that one for now. It can also write a paragraph for me to start things off. So it is using that information from the headline and from what I entered in to come up with this. So what I'm going to do, I'll use this one for now. I could also write my own, but I'll use that for now. Now, what gets really nice here is I can have it continue writing. So I'll switch it to long, and um, I, I can just show you how that works real quick. I'm not sure if I'll be using that, that content because I haven't really read it through it yet, but here it's answering some of those questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the questions that I grabbed from that spreadsheet. I'm going to change that to 2021. Let me do that. And then what you can do here to break up stuff is you can put the um, pound sign or hash tag sign, however you want to do it, and that will tell it to stop reading up above this line. So I'm going to have it write more content here. Okay, now let's say I didn't want um, that information. I can delete that. Then I could continue writing a little bit myself. Another little trick I've done is just copy and paste that again, and then Control-Z to get rid of it. And I'm going to compose and see if it expands on that thought. Okay, so I could delete that part. And let's say I want to see if there's anything else that will continue on for that. I'll continue on. If it, if it asks more questions or if it kind of switch gears, I will move on to the next question. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next question. So I'm already at 482 words and I've deleted, you know, several things. I know some of this I'll have to, you know, go over and, and double check things, but this is a really fast way to come up with content. 
and it's stuff that could potentially rank in a search engine. So I'm going to have it write this. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this again in here. Let's see if it continues that thought. Okay. And then I might copy and paste again here. See if it has any more it can add on. Okay, didn't really have any more that I wanted to add. I'm already at 670 some words, and we've been doing this for a couple minutes. Now, you may want to organize these things a little differently, or you may have different um, you know, pages, like each one of these questions could be their own blog post if you wanted. But anyways, let me go back into WordPress here. This is my very first time using Rank Math. I'd heard about it over the weekend, and I was like, well, I'm going to download that and see what it is, because I'm not an SEO guy. I don't know <laughs> diddly squat about SEO, but this was so cool. So let me scroll down here. So what I did is I pasted in the content from Conversion AI, and I um, you know, did like H2 headings for each question. And my post is really long. It's like 13,000 words or something ridiculous. So anyways, I put that in there. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom here. And I put my focus keywords, affiliate marketing. You know, I'm using that in my title. I'm using that in my description. It's in my URL. It's in the first 10% of content. I've got it in the content. Uh, it's, you know, 12,937 words long. You know, I think for it to get to good, it was like 1,500 or 2,500 and um, so, th I mean, this is like way overkill. Um, I went, I, I answered 91 questions. There's no way you'd have to answer that. I mean, I'm sure if I answered like 10, it, it would have been totally fine. And so it also had the, the subheads and I put some images in there and put all its, uh, attributes in there. My keyword density um, is relatively low considering how many uh, words are in this article. Um, you know, I've got a short URL. I'm linking to stuff. I've got some do follow links. Um, I also have links on my own website. Um, I haven't used this focus keyword before. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not sure if that, you know, pays attention to other posts I've, I've done or not. Um, this is like my first real blog post in like a decade where I've put like a lot of content in a blog posts. Most of my blog posts as of late have been like, well, here's a video that I shot, or here's a review of some product and it's kind of a template I copy and paste over and over and over again. I just duplicate the post and change the, the product name and put a little um, blurb about what that actual product is. There isn't a whole lot of effort I put into it. This is like a real post that's evergreen content. Anyways, I've got the, the title readability here. It's, you know, focus keyword, um, you know, positive sentiment or negative um, power word. That's cool. Uh, I've got a uh, number because so I'll share with that in a little bit. And I've got this content readability. I've added um, a table of contents, I've got short paragraphs, and I have images and video. So for um, you know table of contents, I, I downloaded some plugin for that. I might be able to show you what that is here. I can't remember the name of it, but it was this table of contents. I think I just searched for it uh, on WordPress, and it put the table of contents automatically in my post and that links to each one of these things and then I downloaded another plugin you know let me just open up my plugin so I can show you what they are quick so we'll go to active and let's see I have amp on to, to make my site faster uh, apparently that helps I think it was easy table of contents and I have this dynamic month and year that I'm using I'll show you how that works in just a second and I did smush uh, to make images be more optimized because the images were rather big. And I have this WP Optimize. I don't know if those are the best plugins or not. You know, you can let me know. I'm not a blogger, so I don't really know. But anyways, my thing's at a uh, hundred out of a hundred. So with that uh, other plugin, that what is it called? I think it was like Evergreen Countdown. Yeah, evergreen count or no um dynamic month and year sorry dynamic month and year in posts it lets you add things like this bracket in year and i think bracket in month I might have bracket in day too but bracket in month and bracket in year so if you go to my blog post here you'll see that 
uh, it has April 2021. So when this hits May, it's going to say May 2021, June 2021. Let's say it's, you know, 2025. It'll be like January 2025. And it'll update that. And as I add more questions in here, I'll, I'll up that. Or if I decide to remove some, I can remove some. And so that's just really cool. And that's how I'm using all these different tools. Um, you know, most of them are free. Uh, you can get access. I'm on the free plan for Rank Math right now. WordPress is free. Uh, the table of contents plugin is free. SEO Minions free. The um, dynamic date uh, plugin, I can't remember the name of it, but the da dynamic month and year and post plugin, that was free. The only paid thing that I'm using here is Conversion AI, and you can sign up for a free trial. Uh, you can click the link underneath this video and you can get access to all these tools. But I would definitely suggest signing up for uh, Conversion AI and trying this out because it's a really cool way to generate a ton of content that you can SEO optimize with Rank Math and then uh, use SEO Minion to find the different questions that your potential prospects, your customers, your people that are looking for your website are searching for on Google. And that's going to help you get more traffic, get more people, you know, signing up for your email list, getting more people to buy your products, getting more people to share your posts. In fact, you know, I, I made this post from scratch, from, from idea to completion yesterday. And there's a few things, you know, I'll probably do a little bit of tweaking and editing and fix some typos and stuff like that. But I started this in the afternoon and before I went to bed, I put this post up and it's 13,000 words. It's already had 174 likes on Facebook. So there's a ton of potential with this. I haven't sent any paid advertising at all. I shared it with a few people online and you know it's spreading virally. So this is really cool. And I really love all these different tools I've put together to whip out amazing content in a short amount of time and get it to be SEO optimized with the Rank Math plugin. So click the links underneath this video. They're in the description or underneath the video if you're viewing this on my blog and you're gonna be able to get access to all the tools I mentioned in this and it's gonna help you make a ton of content that you can rank online with the different tools that I share with you in this video. So click those links right now.